Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Rainer and here is a single review. It's single review time again. I have read something and the something that I've read from my shelves is a book from the backlist of my channel. This is Behold the Dreamers by Imbolo Mbue. This was published in 2017 in its original version and the publisher is in England. It was Fourth Estate in London. This is an amazing book, an amazing story. It is an immigration story, another immigration story, you might ask. Yes, but it is maybe a perfect book. It is a very readable book, a very immersive book. You're gonna love it if you read it, if you haven't read it before. This is about two Cameroonian immigrants to the United States, Jende Jonga and his wife Nenny and their son Leomi. They come to the United States, I think in 2005, 2006, and it starts actually with a job interview because Jen Day, who is illegal in the States, he wants to be legal, of course, he wants to get a green card, but he is struggling and he needs a job and he goes to a job interview with somebody at Wall Street, a manager. His name is Clark Edwards in Wall Street. He works for Bing Bong Lehman Brothers and Lehman Brothers, the company that will go bankrupt just a year later. And it starts with this job interview in the very beginning. He'd never been asked to wear a suit or a job to a job interview, never been told to bring along a copy of his resume. He hadn't even owned a resume until the previous week when he'd gone to the library on 34th and Madison and a volunteer career counselor had written one for him, detailed his work history to suggest he was a man of grand accomplishments, farmer responsible for tilling land and growing healthy crops, Street cleaner, responsible for making sure the town of Limbe looked beautiful and pristine. Dishwasher in Manhattan restaurant in charge of ensuring patrons ate from clean and germ-free plates. Livery cab driver in the Bronx, responsible for taking passengers safely from place to place. And then we have this job interview and yes, Jin Day gets the job. He works with Mr. Edwards, who is a very well-earning guy at Wall Street and works for the, and is a part of the 1% of the richest people in the country. He has Mr. Edwards and his wife, Cindy, they have a house in the Hamptons, one of the most exclusive and most expensive parts in the whole world, the Hamptons, with a beautiful uh, mansion that they, they own there. We, we, we're going later to that mansion, but in the beginning, Jen Day is happy, he has this job and he is sort of hoping for the green card and everything seems to be so fine. His beautiful wife Nenny uh, gets pregnant again. She is at the same time studying to be a pharmacist. She wants to be a pharmacist and Jen Day is so proud because he can pay the tuition fee for his wife's um, education. The book actually should have been called The Longings of Jen Day Jonga. With this title, agents went to the Frankfurt Book Fair and at the Frankfurt Book Fair, the book The Longings of Jende Jonga was a sensation. It was a little sensation because this book, it's the first book of Mbola Bue, was sold. The author got one million American dollars just for the first book as a prepay for this great book, which worked out quite a lot because critics loved it, readers loved it, it was nominated for the Dublin Literary Award, it was nominated for the Penn Faulkner Award, which it ultimately won. And yes, it's a great book that also sold the film rights to Hollywood. The film has not been made yet. So we stopped where Jen Day becomes the driver of Mr. Edwards. Soon we learn that the um, family of Mr. Edwards is not so happy at all, although they should be happy because they're rich. And even in Jen Day's family, things began to a little bit crack and then comes the bankruptcy, the bankruptcy of the Lehman Brothers. Clark loses his job. He manages quite okay with the crisis and Jen Day is first uh, very scared that he might lose his job, but he doesn't lose his job. But then things happen in the private life of the Edwards family because they are not as ha the happy family, although they are so rich. And it tells us that money doesn't make you happy. And even Jen Day has problems. Uh, he. Um, has uh, a lot of nostalgia for his beautiful hometown of Limbe in Cameroon at the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. He's thinking about that and he realizes that it will be very difficult, if not impossible, for him to get a legal status in the United States. 
So he asked himself, should I stay or should I go? And the great achievement of this novel by Mbolo Bue is that she is describing all these characters so lively that she really makes very believable characters. Not only Jen Day and his wife Nanny, also the Edwards couple and also other people who are side figures in that uh, novel are really painted in very strong and beautiful and vivid colors. So there is really a lot of understanding, a lot of warmth, a lot of love and affection for all the characters in this novel. And even if Mrs. Edwards makes some bad judgments and really treats um, Jen Day and Nanny bad, she will get she will get a payback. And then you think that, okay, that was, was Nanny that nice? Was Jen Day that nice in that situation? So everybody is a little bit flawed at least, but all in all, there's a lot of sympathy for the characters. And this book ultimately asks the question if the American dream is true, if it's achievable, if it's possible to go there to New York where the Statue of Liberty says that I take, I take all the poor and all the people who are persecuted into my arms and give them a new home in this country. Is the American dream a lie or is it true? Like Bruce Springsteen once sang in this beautiful song, The River, is a dream a lie if it don't come true? That's uh, the question Springsteen asks. And I think it's applicable also to that novel. Um, and is a dream that you, when you don't realize your dreams, have you failed or is it just the way things go that you reflect about your life if you not fulfill your dreams, if you not pursue your dreams to the fullest? This novel, Behold the Dreamers, is nothing short but a masterpiece by what Jonathan Franzen says in the blurb here, a formidable storyteller. And I really loved it. I also loved Imbolo Bue's second novel, How Beautiful We Were, that plays in Africa. I read it, I think, two years ago. Uh, talked about it here on the channel in my first year in, on Booktube. So in Bombue, with her two novels that are published uh, until this day, is a very interesting, a very beautiful author. And I really um, enjoyed Behold the Dreamers. If you want to read a novel that completely immerses you into the plot, into the characters, then go for this one. Behold the Dreamers by Mbolombue. It's marvelous. I just love it. Thanks for watching this video in this short review. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. I hope to see you soon. Bye.